Witam na kanale Trąd Polsce i e, wydanie grudniowe English Just For You gdzie analizujemy błędy w 10 zdaniach angielskich Jest grudzień, więc to jest edycja świąteczna oparte na jasełka zdanie świąteczne oprócz jeden, więc zapraszam a reszta tego wideo to w języku angielskim Zapraszam. So for the first sentence, which is We, let's go for a Christmas drink. Okay, it's not based on the Christmas nativity, but there is a mistake. Um, and in this case, it's not necessary to use the subject. Here we're putting forward a suggestion. So, let's without the we. Uh, you could uh, use the construction, shall we go for a Christmas drink? But here we're suggesting uh, the apostrophe S, yes, by the way, is let us go. So let's go for a Christmas drink. Don't forget, we never say let us. That's the first sentence. sentence two which is Gabriel asked Mary if she will be the mother of God just one mistake here we're using the reported language um, the asked is absolutely correct and uh, we need to go back one tenth so the will becomes would in the past so Gabriel asked Mary if she would be the mother of God. In direct speech, it's uh, Mary, will you be the mother of God? That's sentence number two. <laughs> sentence number three. That what's God wants. So in this case, there is a mix up with the apostrophe S, which should be. Uh, on the first word which is that that is what God wants that's what God wants uh, he God third person wants that's why we've got the s that is sentence three. <laughs> Mary rides to Bethlehem on a donkey. Again, we're telling the Christmas story. It's a narration. Uh, the ride should be in the past form. So it should be Mary rode to Bethlehem on a donkey. Now for sentence number five. Mary carried to Bethlehem or by a donkey. Uh, well, it seems here as if Mary carried the donkey to Bethlehem, but it was the opposite side, the donkey being the object of the sentence. So Mary was carried to Bethlehem by a donkey, was carried. It's the passive form. That's sentence number five. <laughs> Sentence number six, you're welcome. It sounds correct when you say it, but the way it's written here is absolutely wrong. The full form is you are welcome. It's not a possessive, uh, so it should be you, apostrophe re, welcome. You're welcome. That is sentence number six. Sentence number seven, during night, Mary gave birth to Jesus. Well, it was a specific night, that December night, that December the 25th, if it was actually the correct, the exact date. Uh, so during the night, Mary gave birth to Jesus, that specific night. We need to specify it. 
sentence then. Um, right, what's coming next? Here we have two mistakes. Some shepherds watching over their sheep. Uh, it's a longer action. Uh, so, some shepherds were watching. They were. Because again, it's the past tense. Uh, it sounds okay there, sheep, but it should be a possessive there, not a positional there. So T H E I R, over there, sheep. Some shepherds were watching over there, sheep. That sentence number eight. Now to the penultimate question, uh, to penultimate sentence, number nine. When they find Jesus, they were filled with joy. Again, a similar mistake was made a few sentences ago. From find should be found. It is a narration. Uh, so when they found Jesus, they were filled with joy. That's sentence number nine. The last sentence comes with two mistakes. All through the night, local people visited Jesus with small gift and presents. The mistake is the way through is written. All through the night and with gifts and presents it should be. Dziś w tej edycji grudniowej życzę Wam wszystkim wszystkiego dobrego i do zobaczenia w tej serii English Just For You po nowym roku. Dokładnie około środku stycznia. Na razie, cześć. No, zapomniałem o tym.